how are you embracing that? Uh, I, I feel good. I want to be a, my goal is to be a consistent player. Um, every night, you know what I'm bringing to the floor and the table and just give my all. Yeah. So what are some things that you've been working on and that you hope you improve on this season? My post game, I've really been working on instead of just being an outside shooter, um, ball handling, being able to embrace contact and finish through it. Yeah. What have you seen from the newcomer so far? All of them are amazing. I mean, the transfers, the freshmen, we're all working good together. We all have different skill sets, so it's good. Yeah, you mentioned you want to go out this year with a bang, and obviously everyone this program is accustomed to trying to get to a Final Four, win a national championship. So how does this team accomplish that goal this year? Uh, we got to work together. we got to build chemistry, which we already have. We have amazing chemistry. Um, like you said, it is a new team, so we're trying to figure out how to work and how to work together and how to build a good team. But um, we're getting there. We really are. All I need it. Thank you. Right, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Uh, your teammate talked a little bit about how deep you guys are yeah. and, and how much different you guys are uh, than last year. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, well, we have more players than last year. And then, like how she said, depth. Like, if somebody has an off night, somebody else will step up. Um, we're all good players. So, um, sorry, what was the other half? Let's discuss it next. Okay. <laughs> about leadership. Oh. And uh, you know, now that you're you're considered one of the vets. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about the growth of your leadership on the court. I've been being more vocal out on the floor, talking, trying to encourage the younger kids. Um, being more consistent as a leader, because I feel like if I go out every day and do my best, and they can follow me, and if I were to say something that they would take in consideration that I do it, so. I feel like that's what I'm leading in, my actions. You know, I, re I remember you, you used to not be too vocal on the court. No. <laughs> you, not, no not necessarily uh, the toughest player. Yeah. But talk a little bit about how you've grown in that in that area. Well, I mean, playing for Coach Walls in the ACC, you got to be a tough player and you got to talk. And that's just what I've learned over the years with the following players who played before me, like Sam Fearing, Maisha, Courtney. All of them were amazing players. All of them were role models to me. And that's just what I took to see them be successful. I realized that I have to change and involve into that. Now, when we're in the Serena on game night, there's a lot of fans in here <laughs> who, who cheer you guys on. Talk about the fan support that, that you guys get over the years it's amazing I mean you walk into this arena and you just you just feel good or walking into Walmart and everybody's like hi Kylie like you just you feel good like you have a special place in your heart for everybody here and you really appreciate how much they look out for you and talk to you and make an impact in your day my last question is about how will you measure your success this year just for yourself personally other than hanging a banner but what are some of the things that you hope to accomplish this year well Team goals, of course, I want to make it far, but individually, um, I would, would like... Would be stats? Would yeah. It? I mean, it would be lovely to average a double-double, um, but that's effort. That's trying. Um, I want to make it to the next level, of course. Who doesn't? So we'll just work into that and see where it goes. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me get some.